Hey, manifestors! Tired of the usual talk about manifesting specific people, careers, or beauty? Ready for something truly mind-blowing? Today, we're diving into one of Neville Goddard's most shocking abilities, teleportation through imagination. Yes, you heard that right. Neville could manifest himself in front of people while physically being in another place. Stick around to learn how you can do the same and amaze your friends. You won't believe how simple it is. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Today, we've got something extraordinary for you. One of our viewers asked why we can't manifest more fun things like teleporting or being invisible. Buckle up, because we're diving into Neville Goddard's secret to teleportation through imagination. This isn't your typical manifestation talk about careers or relationships. We're talking about something that sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie. Neville Goddard was known to manifest his presence in front of people while being miles away. Imagine being able to do that. Neville's ability to use his imagination to be in two places at once is documented in his lectures and books. Today, we'll break down how he did it, the principles behind it, and how you can start practicing this mind-blowing technique. Stick around until the end because we've got a special freebie for you. Our exclusive teleportation visualization cheat sheets. Sign up for our newsletter to get them. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alright, let's jump into Neville's fascinating world of imagination and teleportation. Neville Goddard's Teleportation Technique First things first, let's dive into how Neville Goddard used his thoughts and imagination to teleport. According to Neville, the imagination is the most powerful tool we possess. He believed that everything we experience in the physical world originates from our imagination. Neville often shared stories about manifesting his presence. One famous account is when he appeared at a friend's dinner party while he was actually at home in a different city. He used his imagination so vividly that his friends swore they saw and interacted with him. The key principle behind this technique is the law of assumption. Neville taught that by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you align your consciousness with that reality. In other words, if you vividly imagine yourself being somewhere, your consciousness projects you there. Think of it like a vivid daydream. When you daydream, you lose track of time and place. Neville took this a step further by making these daydreams feel so real that they manifested physically for others to perceive. Next, we'll break down the steps Neville used to teleport himself and how you can start practicing this technique today. Step-by-step -step Teleportation Guide Alright, manifestors, let's get into the nitty-gritty. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Neville's teleportation technique. Step 1. Relaxation Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down comfortably and close your eyes. Take deep breaths and relax your body completely. The goal is to enter a state of deep relaxation, similar to the state right before you fall asleep. Step 2. Visualization Once relaxed, begin to visualize the place you want to be. Make it as vivid as possible. See the surroundings, hear the sounds, and feel the textures. Engage all your senses to make the scene as real as possible. Step 3. Emotional involvement This is crucial. Feel the emotions you would feel if you were actually there. Feel the joy, excitement, and satisfaction. The stronger your emotions, the more powerful the manifestation. Step 4. Assumption Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. In your mind, accept that you are already there. Hold on to this feeling as long as you can. The more you practice, the easier it will become. Practical Tips for Success Now that you know the steps, here are some practical tips to make Neville's teleportation technique work for you. Remember, practice makes perfect. Tip 1. Consistency Like any skill, consistency is key. Practice daily, even if it's just for a few minutes. The more you practice, the more vivid and powerful your visualizations will become. Tip 2. Start small begin with small, simple scenarios before attempting more complex ones. For example, start by visualizing yourself in a different room in your house before trying to appear at a friend's place. Tip 3. Use triggers Use objects or symbols as triggers to help you visualize. For instance, if you want to appear at a beach, hold a seashell or listen to ocean sounds while visualizing. Tip 4. Journaling Keep a manifestation journal. Write down your visualizations and any experiences or feedback you receive. This helps reinforce your practice and track your progress. 
Easy Daily Practice for Beginners Here's an easy daily practice to get you started with Neville's teleportation technique. This exercise is perfect for beginners and can be done anywhere. Daily Practice The location swap choose two locations you visit frequently, like your home and your workplace. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself in one location while you're physically in the other. Visualize the details, the furniture, the people, the sounds, and the smells. Feel the emotions you would feel being in that location. Do this exercise consistently to strengthen your visualization skills. Gradually increase the complexity of your visualizations. Move from familiar locations to places you've never been. The more detailed and vivid your visualizations, the more powerful your manifestations will be. Next, we'll discuss how to handle skepticism and maintain belief in your teleportation practice. It's normal to have doubts, but we'll show you how to overcome them. Handling skepticism and maintaining belief. It's normal to feel skeptical about teleportation through imagination. Neville Goddard faced skepticism too, but he maintained unwavering belief in his teachings. First, acknowledge your doubts without judgment. Doubt is natural, but it doesn't have to hold you back. Use affirmations like, I am open to new possibilities, and, I trust in the power of my imagination. Surround yourself with positive influences. Engage with communities and content that support your beliefs. This helps reinforce your faith and keeps you motivated. Celebrate small wins. Every little success, no matter how minor, is proof that the technique works. These successes build your confidence and belief over time. Let's wrap up with a summary of Neville Goddard's teleportation technique. Remember, your imagination is the most powerful tool you possess. By relaxing, visualizing, engaging emotionally, and assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you can project your presence anywhere. Consistent practice and belief are key. Start with simple exercises, use practical tips, and maintain a positive mindset. Over time, you'll strengthen your skills and experience incredible manifestations. We'd love to hear your stories. Share your experiences in the comments below. How have you used Neville's techniques to manifest amazing things? Your stories can inspire and motivate others. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter to get your exclusive teleportation visualization cheat sheets. Like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. Keep believing, keep creating, and remember, your faith is your fortune. Thank you for watching. We hope this deep dive into Neville Goddard's teleportation technique has blown your mind and inspired you to try it out. Until next time, keep believing, keep creating.